With regard to the eight siddhas or the eight mahasiddhas, we've already talked about the different traditions, that there are a number of different um, uh, sets of the eight great adepts of, of India. Now, what we didn't really talk about is, is who were all of these um, um, adepts that make up these different systems. And so we, we really only have um, uh, three early systems uh, for Tibet. We, we have the Sakya, uh, the Jonang related, and then the, the Kagyu. Now the Kagyu have a number of different systems, and I'm sure if we look closely enough we will find the same for Sakya. Uh, but we do have a certain number of Mahasiddhas that are, are designated as the eight. Now, why do we have eight? Why not nine or twelve or twenty or why not um, five? Why do we have eight Mahasiddhas? Why do we have eight separate from eighty-four? So the eight actually derive from uh, a tantra that teaches uh, the description for visualization practice, uh, the visualization of the eight uh, cemeteries that go with the wrathful deity mandalas. So there, there are a group of eight cemeteries and once again no this number is not limited to just eight there are different systems which enumerate different sets of eight. The Chakrasambara Tantra or, or different Chakrasambara Tantras might give a slightly different list than the He Vajra Tantra or the Vajra Panjara or another Tantra. So there are different lists. But what we do have is we do have a system of eight charnel grounds or cemeteries that that go with uh, semi-peaceful, semi-wrathful, and wrathful mandalas. You do not have a system of eight cemeteries uh, that that is um, visualized or that is, is used in conjunction with peaceful mandalas. Peaceful mandalas do not have uh, wrathful characteristics. Cemeteries are considered more wrathful, more dangerous, uh, places you don't necessarily want to be, and that goes with wrathful deities, not with peaceful deities. So, the reason we have this group of eight Mahasiddhas is because it is coming out of this system of eight cemeteries. Now, out of this Tantra that describes the eight cemeteries, does it name specific Mahasiddhas? And no, it doesn't. No. It, it's a very generic uh, um, Tantra, and all it does is say that in each cemetery are uh, Siddhas. There, there, are, there are lists of things that appear uniformly in each of the eight cemeteries, and one of those things is a, is a siddha. It doesn't say mahasiddha, it says siddha. So within uh, the, the tantric Buddhist uh, system, then there developed this tradition of actually picking your favorite mahasiddha, um, such as Virupa, or, or Indrabhuti, or Saraha, uh, or Dombiharuka, or Gantapa, and, and then making them as one of the eight um, uh, characteristic special siddhas for that cemetery uh, with a name, uh, with that direction um, coming out of some specific tantra. So that's the origin uh, of uh, the concept of eight great uh, adepts and uh, and how they are associated how they're associated um, with the with the cemeteries and with the different traditions and how the different traditions use them now it's interesting to note that it's really only the Sakya and Kagyu Sakya and related schools Kagyu and, and related schools that actually uh, name these Mahasiddhas quite clearly and actually place them visually and recognizably in mandala paintings. The Nyingma tradition, of course, does not do this because they don't have this system of 84 Mahasiddhas or the 8 Mahasiddhas. And the um, Gelug tradition, has we just don't find examples where they they, they bothered um, to, to place individual identifiable Mahasiddhas 
in mandala painting. So it really is a phenomena of the Sakya and the Kagyu. Now, if you like this, uh, this discussion about Mahasiddhas uh, and you'd like to see more of them, then you can always um, hit the like button. You can always subscribe. You can always share with a friend. And if you uh, want to help support Himalayan Art Resources, then join our HAR Patreon account. And there you can actually get um, longer videos. Uh, you can get uh, unpublished essays and you can get unpublished images of art as well.